get out, you rusty piece of. Now, the problem I'm running into is this guy right here. So this is our torsion bar. It's stuck, it's frozen, won't come out. So there's all kinds of rust and crap up in this socket. So since this thing's been kicking my butt, I did some research online. I'm actually gonna try a couple different methods to get this thing out. I'm gonna share them with you. So this first method is for those of you that don't have any rust or have recently done work on your suspension. We need to be under the hood for this. It's a whole lot easier because no engine. Now this nut right here is, goes to the pivot for your lower control arm. Seriously. Airplanes, right over the house. Don't hear them all day. As soon as I start recording. Yerp. This nut right here is for your lower control arm pivot. Best thing to do is just back this off, leave it on a couple of threads. And if your torsion bar is not rusted into place, you can just give it a few taps. And that should get it started moving. However, mine is rusted in place. That's where this guy comes into play. There's plenty of tools that you can get online that will clamp to your torsion bar. And you just beat on it and it's supposed to push it out the back. I couldn't find one, so I made one. Uh, I mean, it, it clamps plenty fine. I move the whole car when I do this. I have been smacking the crap out of this thing. And all it does is just slide down the bar. Failure, 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 failure. Those are the things that I've tried so far. Done a little bit of research. Got a couple more things that I could try before we get to the ultimate solution, which is cutoff wheel and new torsion bars. Let's check it out. So the next item up for bids is the good old pry bar. So I'm gonna take that pry bar and I'm gonna run it right up here between the K-member and the lower control arm. I'm just gonna kind of wrench on it a little bit and see if we can't get this whole thing moving. Just take your pry bar, wedge it in there. I was being nice. I want you to be nice until it's time to not be nice. Yeah, that's a whole lot of nope. That thing does not want to budge, not a bit. And I didn't figure it would, because I kind of did that before while I was banging on the tool. Still nothing. Next, I should probably clean that, is the pickle fork. We're gonna do the same thing with the pickle fork. We're gonna run that between the lower control arm and our K-member. Let's see if we can get this moving. Nope. <laughs> that just went flush with the pivot. Well, that's fun. Stuck. <laughs> Shh, behave. Well, that didn't work. There's only one more thing that I can think of to get this torsion bar out. I need to be very, very careful. My brake distribution block is right here. I've got brake lines right here and it keeps kicking back. My lower control arm should come right out now and it does telling me torsion bar is indeed what was holding it in place. Ah, out. This is gonna be a whole bunch of fun for an entirely different video as well. So now I'm gonna go ahead and get this tool off of here cause I don't need it anymore. I got a nice flat surface to beat on. Oh, hey, that one came off. Oh, that's very round. Ooh, do not try to hold the end of that with your finger. And now, back to the pounding. Look at that. One, 
two piece torsion bar. Guess we're replacing them. So there it is, a couple of different ways that you can get your torsion bar out if it's stuck. A couple of lessons I learned on that is one, I need a bigger pickle fork. Two, probably need a bigger hammer too. If you stayed to the end, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. We'll be back soon with the rest of the suspension. Bye y'all. So this first, first, damn it. So this first, first, first method. So this first method. So this first method, idiot.